Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Apple TV. So we're going to go through the full installation process to connect it to your TV as well as the setup process with your Apple ID. Let's get started. Alright, so first off you're going to need a few items. You're going to need the Apple TV. If you don't have one, I'll link you in the description. You can check out the different models and purchase one for yourself. This one here is the newest model of the Apple TV, so we'll be working with that. You're going to need the power cable that comes with the Apple TV, so if you purchased one, you should have this in the box. You're going to need the Apple TV remote, whatever one you have, use that. And then finally, you're going to need to provide an HDMI cable to work with your Apple TV. Now, if you don't have one of these, I'll link you to them in the description. You can pick them up for super cheap. And I think I got this one here for like $3 or something, and I think there was a pack of two. So check out the link in the description if you don't have HDMI cables, you can get them cheap and they work great. Once you have everything, we can get started with the installation. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our HDMI cable into the HDMI port on our TV. Now you might find yours on the back of your TV. For this one, I'm just going to use the one on the side. For the next step, you're going to insert the other end of the HDMI cable into the back of the Apple TV. And lastly, for the hardware setup, you want to connect the one end of your power cable to the Apple TV and the other end to the wall outlet. For the next step, you want to turn on your TV and then you want to turn the TV to the proper input. So I was using HDMI 3, so this is HDMI 3, and you're going to need your Apple TV remote for the next step here. Now what you're looking at is actually one of the screen savers, and you can see it's insanely good. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the TV back to its main screen. You want to select the language that you're going to use and it's giving you the example. You can use the touchpad here and scroll up and down. So keep that in mind as you use the Apple TV because that'll be how you do things. And it actually has a clickable button. So we'll pick English and we'll just click it. Here you want to pick your country. So we're going to go down to Canada. And it's actually pretty sensitive here. So it moves pretty smooth up and down just like a touchpad if you have a, a Mac or a PC. For the next step here, it's going to ask you if you want to set it up with a device or if you want to set it up manually. So the way you do this is simple. Unlock your phone. You want to go ahead and tap on settings. You want to make sure Bluetooth is on. Once it's on, hold the device close to the Apple TV. So I would just say set it right on top. So once you've placed your phone on the Apple TV, you'll be prompted to accept and put in your Apple ID password to set up the Apple TV. Just follow those instructions and now you see on screen here it says location services and you can use your remote here and just set this up so you can enable them or disable them. I'm going to disable them right now because I want to see what it's all about. You can select your time zone, uh, closest city, so just put in a city that's close by. Now here you can select to use Siri or not to use Siri. I'd strongly recommend you do because that's one of the biggest features with this device here is the use of Siri and the abilities. You can have the aerial screensaver you can enjoy, so automatically download them or you can choose to download them later. We'll just do that later, just to save some time here. And this, honestly, I don't send anything to Apple for diagnostics because who knows what other information goes through. So we'll just say don't send. We will scroll down and accept these terms. And this is our Apple TV. And what's nice about this is you get the bare bones of Apple TV. So it's like when you restore or set up your iPhone or iPad. So no applications are here because we now have an actual Apple TV app store. So you can open this up here, download your apps just like you would on your iPhone. If I wanna grab Netflix, I just click on it and it should load it, install it right here. Now I'll show you guys how to do pretty much everything with the Apple TV. So be sure to subscribe to the channel Follow me on Twitter and Facebook for updates. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.